Recently, I came across a picture that depicted a Catholic saint, but there was something unusual. I went to Catholic school, so I'm pretty familiar with the heavy hitters when it comes to sainthood, and I had neither heard nor seen anything about this until a few days ago. Now, the interesting thing about this picture is, well, he looked a lot like a werewolf. It turns out this image was of St. Christopher. He's a very popular figure venerated by a number of different Christian denominations. St. Christopher was described as being a giant, anywhere between 7 and 18 feet tall, depending on who's telling the story. And it's also said he had a fearsome face and great strength. Because of Christopher's size and strength, he was tasked with helping people like the old and the sick and the weak cross a local river. One day, he's asked to carry a small boy across. So, as Christopher is making his way through the water, he notices that this child on his shoulder just keeps getting heavier and heavier. He struggled against the strong current. Things were looking dicey, but with great effort, he reaches the opposite side. It's then that the boy reveals himself to be Jesus. And all the weight Christopher felt was because Jesus carried the weight of the world's sins. So then Christopher goes off to convert people to Christianity and he dies a martyr. What about the werewolf pictures? Well, according to legend, St. Christopher was a sign of Celephus, which was a being that had the body of a human, but the head of a dog. Sometimes these creatures were depicted as civilized, but overall they were considered dangerous, cannibalistic savages. Belief in the existence of the sign of Celephi was common in the ancient world and widespread, and it would last all the way up until medieval times. People like Augustine of Hippo and Marco Polo even mentioned the sign of Celephi in their writings. These portrayals of the dog-headed Christopher are rare and are also unique to Eastern Orthodox tradition, which makes sense because the speculation is that a Byzantine misinterpretation of one Latin word is the reason for this dog-headed business to begin with. When someone read the word Canaanite as Canaan. I hope you enjoyed the story of Saint Doghead. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoy this content, please share it. Until next time, I am Peter McCarthy. This is Creepy Little Book. Stay creeped out.